Ever wondered why a jellyfish sting hurts so much? It's a question that has puzzled many beachgoers and marine enthusiasts alike. There's a lot of hearsay out there, myths and misconceptions that have somehow found their way into popular belief. Some say it's because of the jellyfish's acidic venom, while others believe it's due to tiny barbed hooks. But what is the real reason behind the excruciating pain? Stay tuned to discover what really happens when a jellyfish stings you. Understanding a jellyfish sting begins with knowing a bit about jellyfish anatomy. At first glance, these creatures may seem like floating blobs, but there's much more to them. They're composed of a soft, gelatinous body, a network of thin nerve fibers, and most notably, long trailing tentacles. These tentacles are not just for show, they are armed with specialized cells called conidocytes, which are the key to a jellyfish's sting. Each conidocyte contains a tiny, coiled, harpoon-like structure known as a nematocyst. When triggered, this nematocyst shoots out at a high speed, piercing anything in its path and injecting venom. In a sense, it's like each jellyfish tentacle is a fully armed arsenal of microscopic dart guns ready to fire at a moment's notice. The intricate design of these cynidocytes allows jellyfish to capture prey and defend against threats in their watery world. So, the real culprits behind a jellyfish sting are these cnidocytes. Now that you know the main players, let's dive into the process of a jellyfish sting. To understand the process, we first need to understand the role of cnidocytes. These are specialized cells that the jellyfish possesses which are packed full of venomous stingers or nematocysts. Now, here's where things get a little bit prickly, quite literally. Upon contact, these cnidocytes spring into action. The moment a jellyfish feels threatened or touches prey, the cnidocytes fire, launching tiny harpoon-like structures. These structures, known as nematocysts, are microscopic, but incredibly powerful. They shoot out at an astonishing speed, faster than the blink of an eye, and penetrate the skin of the victim. Now these aren't just your regular barbs. The nematocysts carry venom, a potent mix of toxins. This venom is injected straight into the victim, be it a small fish or an unsuspecting human. The toxins immediately start to affect the victim, disrupting cellular processes and causing a variety of symptoms from mild irritation to severe pain. And here's a fun fact. The firing of a nematocyst is considered one of the fastest cellular processes in nature. It's so fast in fact, that it happens in less than a thousandth of a second. So it's the venom from the nematocysts that causes all that pain and discomfort. The sting of a jellyfish is not just a simple prick, it's a complex rapid-fire attack that demonstrates the fascinating, if somewhat frightening, capabilities of these marine creatures. So you've been stung by a jellyfish, what happens next? Well, immediately after the sting, you might experience intense pain and local skin reactions. This could include redness, itching and swelling, which can last for several hours to a few days. However, the severity of these symptoms can vary depending on the species of jellyfish. Some stings can lead to more serious complications, such as difficulty breathing, heart complications, or even life-threatening allergic reactions in rare cases. Treatment for a jellyfish sting typically involves removing any tentacles left on the skin, rinsing the area with seawater, and soaking or applying heat to relieve pain. Over-the-counter pain relievers and antihistamines can also help manage symptoms. But remember, it's crucial to seek medical help if symptoms persist or worsen. Precautions to take when stung include not rubbing the sting area and avoiding fresh water or vinegar, unless advised by a medical professional. Remember, the best way to treat a jellyfish sting is to avoid getting stung in the first place. So there you have it, the mystery of the painful jellyfish sting unraveled. We've taken a deep dive into the world of these captivating creatures and their unique defense mechanisms. Starting with their anatomy, we learned about the conidocytes, specialized cells that house the stinging nematocysts. These nematocysts, when triggered, launch like microscopic harpoons, injecting venom into anything that comes too close. This venom, while a potent defense mechanism, is the cause of the pain and discomfort we humans experience when stung. Finally, we discussed the aftermath of a sting, from the immediate pain and redness, 
to the possible allergic reactions. It's important to know how to react when stung, but also to remember that jellyfish aren't out to get us. They're simply reacting to a perceived threat. Next time you're at the beach, remember to give jellyfish plenty of space. They're more complex than they appear.